Hi, Patrick Gallagher here again. Um, I'm going to show a little more advanced knot this time. I like to call this knot the X knot. Um, it's actually a version of the knot of Solomon, which is a, a classic Celtic knot. And the X method works. Now remember we're using the two colors, the, the light color for the pathway and the dark color for the outside of the of the knot. So we'll make you can make these X's go all the way around the world if you want. And a lot of experiments can happen. And if you know if you're more exacting kind of person, you can use a ruler and make guidelines and measure off these things so that they're um, perfect. Remember that perfection is a disease and the Celts were a free flow kind of a group. Now I think that's as far as we'll go for, for this one. Ah, we'll make one more just to make it a little more elaborate make it more of a sense of a border. So we have the X's are in a row. So now we're going to put the tops on. Let me put the tops on. And now we're going to put the bottoms on. Or the buns as sometimes they're referred to. Okay. And you can have points or rounds or different things um, depending on how you get going. So now we're going to switch to the darker color. And we get in here. Remember that I'm using sort of the George Bain method. There are lots of methods for making Celtic knots. The ancient monks used a, a dot matrix grid method. But George Bain was really kind of influential on me. And in the modern culture, if you don't really know George Bain's licks, you know, you're not really playing rock and roll. He's like the Chuck Berry of Celtic, rock, Celtic uh, knot work. So as you'll notice here, I'm very carefully paralleling my lines. That's is called the Knot of Solomon because there's two separate knots or lines that have woven together here. Okay, so then we have all the inside done. Now we'll do the outside and you know I'm going to add a little bit of embellishments here. I think I'm going to have a little hook to make it look more uh, more interesting. Now, you certainly could have animal heads and birds feet and all kinds of beautiful things on here. And as you get doing Celtic art, remember that it's a growing concern. You are, you know, learning it, you are growing with it. So you kind of have to be loose about it. And you make a mistake, you know, you throw it away, you make some more. It, making uh, Celtic art is like calligraphy, Japanese calligraphy or Tibetan sand painting. You know, there's a spirit involved, there's a performance, there's fun. It's like singing a song. So now we're going to start the unders and overs. So here we're going to start right here. Now remember to walk the path. So we're over, we're under, we're going along, um, yeah, we're going over. And if you get, if you go have a cup of coffee in the middle of this and come back, you know, you have to be very careful because it's only a 50-50 chance that you're going to get it right if you can't remember where you were. So we're over, under, over. And we're coming around, under. Over, under, over, under, and there's one last one here. And then, of course, we fill it in, covering up the pathway. Now, normally when I cover up the pathway, that's when I send them a bill. My name isn't Gallagher for nothing, you know. Now this knot could go all the way around the piece of paper in a square or it could go all the way around the earth and come back and connect. Okay, there we have it, the Knot of Solomon.